It is two down, one more to go for these fairies right here. So let's see if I can actually get this quick time event going properly, and one, not mess it up like the dolt I am, and two, not be interrupted by any inconveniently placed lichens. And there we go, okay. So is the last tower... I believe we've already gotten the... You okay over there, Gabriel? <laughs> I thought you were a bit stuck. So I think that one right there that we're facing towards, that was the first one, the second one was the one facing right there. So I believe the third one is gonna be the one right in front of us, it'll be this one here, so... Just go ahead and slowly make our way up, and make sure that I'm not missing any Fallen Brotherhood members either. This might be the only one where you don't have to go out of your way to actually get to the top. Like with the other two, I think you could have zoomed right past if you had gotten the, the, the puzzle right in the first one and just ignored the fact that you could take uh, that spike there and open up the door on the second one. You could have passed over those. I think it's perfectly possible that you'd have zero fairies at this point. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened to me when I first played this. You know, it's weird. I, I have played a lot of games that I played, you know, close to a decade ago now. You know, 2010, 2011. 2012, and you know, I, I was, I remembered back then being annoyed about the game because I couldn't figure things out, and I, I guess, you know, when you, when I think of myself as someone who was 16, 17, 18, I, I don't think I was dumb, you know, like I thought I had a pretty good kind of feel for <laughs> being mentally mature at that point, but, oh, whoa, 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 I see that right there, can we, yes we can, alright, get up there, Gabriel, can you not get up there? Oh, why not? But you're telling me you, you can't get up there? Okay, maybe what I need to do is, uh... Okay, you could clearly cut. Okay, I guess I just wasn't in the right position there for some reason. But, okay, let's see what this guy has to say. Glad I nabbed this one. Shadow Crystal, alright. Shadow Magic Gym, rather. But as I was saying, you know, playing these games... Ow, whew. I was gonna die. Playing this game's like a decade earlier. It's kind of weird how I guess. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of more mentally mature and... I don't want to say smarter. I don't consider myself to be a very smart man. But, uh, you know, I, I guess I just am smarter than I was when I was 18. Which I guess is a no-duh situation. You know, you, you get, like, more experienced in life and things like that, I guess. But... I don't know. Again, I just feel like when I was 17 or 18, you know, I was pretty smart. I didn't think I had that much, uh... That much more to grow mentally, but okay, so how do we get back the way we came? Because the way we came, it was this way, right? Pretty sure we came from this direction, so... What gives? Can I just get there straight from here, maybe? Huh. Well, I guess the only way- wait, can I just fall down here? That's probably what I gotta do, yeah, there we go. And I don't know if I'll get hurt if I just fall down right there, but here we go. This is the way to go. This is the way. And let's get out of here. Okay, we got all three. Let's do it. And it looks like I am gonna have to turn this thing again for some reason. Fine. Is now the time when you're gonna have all the enemies ambush me? Or maybe this is just a clever loading screen. Oh! Okay, dodge out of the way before that happens. Well, apparently that's an option now. Okay, fine. Back up, back it up, back it up. Oh god, these are big guys. There's three of the big guys. This is not good. Okay, I think now might be the time when we need to unleash this thing. Let's show you the power. And there we go. That looks like I actually got a full crystal from beating all three of those guys, so... Uh, maybe I made a mistake the first time I played this with not using the crystal more, but... Yeah, whenever we get something that's a bit more difficult, you know, three big guys like that, where I could have gone through that normally, but it would have been a bit of a chore for sure, uh, I think the crystal's a good scenario to use it at that in. Or, that's a good scenario to use the crystal in, I guess. But okay, so are we just getting through here now? Guess so, okay. Oh, we got the fairies. Let's get on out of here. Maybe I should have used the fairies to help out on that one, but... I don't know if that would have taken away from the grand total that we needed, uh, these guys for. That would have been a freaking waste.
And there we go, that's just the end of the level, and I missed a life gem! Ugh. But let me see if we have any upgrades for that, uh... Chain attack that I like so much. The chainsaw, nope, don't have any upgrades for this yet. So what I might do is just go ahead and hoard these points for a little bit, as I feel like we are doing okay skill-wise. Not having too much difficulty with the combat right now, so... Oh no. Is it already time? Dark Lord of the Lycans? Ah, crap. <laughs> Get the feeling I might not be ready for this, but, uh... Nowhere to go but forward, I guess. Gabriel has fought long and hard to get to this point, and now he faces his stiffest challenge. The Dark Lord of the Lycans must be defeated if Gabriel stands any chance of bringing his beloved back. I fear he will suffer more than he knows once he discovers the truth, and yet his hatred and burning desire for revenge cannot be underestimated. He has the gauntlet, and he has Gandolfi's weapon. He is a force that even the Dark Lord will struggle to deal with. Good. Soon he will overcome this evil. Soon the world will be free of the Lords of Shadow, and plans long dreamt of will come to fruition. Go, my friend. Go and break this creature once and for all. Okay, so this this is the first part of the game. This is what I was talking about. This is this is the part that kicked me in the teeth. So this took many many tries. I don't know if I'll be able to do this on my first try, unless I've just gotten far better at the game. And of course, I have zero daggers. That's great. <laughs> How stupid of me. I do have a crystal though, and uh, the crystal can be kind of effective against this boss. So this was very trial and error for me the first time I played this. So uh, let's just see how it goes. I guess. I, uh... Not really sure, but... I, I, you just really have to get his pattern down so you don't take hits when you shouldn't. Because you still don't have a ton of HP at this point in the game. I have come to fulfill the prophecy. My acolytes were not lying. A warrior from the Brotherhood. Here on Lycan soil. I wonder, warrior. If you know where you are, and who I am. I am on desecrated land, and you, and those of your clan, do not deserve to live. <laughs> you say you are here to fulfill a prophecy. You and the other Lords of Shadow are protecting a power in your sanctuaries. I have come to reclaim that power. You... alone? You dare enter my inner sanctum and dictate your petty mortal terms to me? I am immortal, little man! And your pathetic prophecy is known to me. But you... are ignorant. Ignorant of the real truth of your situation. It is you who are ignorant. Ignorant of the pain and suffering you have brought to this land. Many centuries ago, three great warriors founded the Brotherhood of Light, the order to which you belong. Their sole purpose was to serve God and defeat the Devil. For decades, the Founders fought fiercely against the spawns of Satan, and finally tipped the equilibrium in God's favor. Such was their commitment to the Crusade that their studies in Holy Enlightenment led them to three sacred places where the power of God converged with such intensity that it forged a bridge between the spiritual and the real. The Founders used that power to purify themselves, abandoning their human forms and transforming them into spiritual beings whose power was second only to gods. You tell me nothing that I did not already know, beast. Little did they realize that what they left behind were not their carcasses devoid of souls, but instead the dark sides of themselves. Don't you see? That 
is how we came to be. We, who you call the Lords of Shadow. No. You lie. This place is where one of your founders ascended into heaven, and where I was born. This is the place where, according to your prophecy, a warrior of light will reclaim the power of my beloved brother in heaven, and I too will diminish. If that were to occur, he would die with me, because we are still the same being. He and I, still connected. Kill me, and you kill him. Kill us all, and you will kill the sentry founders of your own order. Ah, <laughs> brother. Even you have to smile at the irony of it all. Perhaps he is willing to sacrifice himself for you. For the greater good, I... However, I'm not. I am and here we go. Okay, here we go. Cornell, size medium, difficulty high. The three founding members of the Brotherhood of Light were brave warriors who sacrificed their physical bodies in order to become spiritual beings able to fight God's war against evil. They performed a mystical ritual to transform themselves into angelic creatures. Their intentions were honorable, but they were deceived and their spirits were fractured. Their good sides were transported to heaven as angelic beings, while their dark sides were left behind. Carnell was the youngest of the three, but he was also the strongest. Unlike his companions, he rarely used his magical powers, preferring to fight using a great sledgehammer that none but he could wield. On that fateful night, the spirit of Cornell left his body, and all the strength and anger left behind gave birth to the lycanthrope Dark Lord. Okay, time to face the music. Here we go. I'm not ready for this. Look how fast he is! Oh my god! No! Oh, okay, back it up. If I remember correctly, we, we just have to, like, chip away at this guy. Just very barely. I think we can really only hit him with, like, neutral, just standard and close attacks because he's just so freaking fast. I don't think you can hit him with anything else. Oh god, yeah, look at that. And you see, we don't get any refills on our magic throughout this fight, so... Okay, and I have to... I'm gonna have to jump over a bit. Okay, so what? what is he doing? What is he doing? What is it? Oh, Jesus. Ow, stop it! You see, I'm already halfway down and we're not even, like, close to being done here. I believe he has a second form, that was the big thing. No, oh, no, come on. You see, I'm, I'm getting to... I, I have to... I have to accept the, like... I have to accept the, like, I can't get in, like, more than a couple neutral hits, honestly. And we're gonna have to jump, yeah, we just jump directly after the dodge. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go into some healing. But I don't think it's good that I need, like, healing only halfway through, like, the first freaking phase. <laughs> That's fine, though. It's gonna be a learning experience, gonna be a learning experience. Jump! There we go, okay. Of course, I can get the orbs if I can just, you know, like, get continuous combos on them that way, but it's gonna be really hard. Oh, jeez, the speed! By far the, the most difficult thing we've had to do in the game so far. If we just keep it up like this... And we do have the crystal, but I want to use the crystal in the second form, but I remember. And again, maybe this won't be as hard as I thought? Uh, I just say that since we're almost done with the first form, but I'm all out of healing. And I'm almost freaking dead again, so... And I need an indication... Okay, so he always... He has to wind up before he can do the hit that actually results in the shot. But you might always want to do the- oh man, it's hard to see that one coming. Do the jump after the dodge, just in case, and get like used to it, maybe. Ah, man, this is impossible! Well, it's not impossible, obviously, but I just have to be better at the game. We almost have him, we almost have him. Okay, because if I can get to the second form on the first try, I'll consider that a win. Because I actually blocked right there, huh? <laughs> okay, well, let's just go ahead and take all those for the light magic, 100%. Gotta tie me a little bit. Okay. Hey, so far so good. But this, this is the kicker right here. The first part is, from what I remember, the first part was just a, a formality. Like this is the actual fight now. The power of the full moon. What else would it be? Because the Lords of Shadow all have their human form. But I suppose this is their true form. Ah, 
Okay. Oh god, that did so much damage. Okay, I want to read the bestiary game. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Lycanthrope Dark Lord. Size big, difficulty high. The Dark Lord of the Lycanthropes is the personification of hate and violence. And his werewolf form, he has superhuman strength and speed, far greater than even his mighty lieutenants. In addition to his neutral abilities, he can also use the power of the Cyclone Boots, magic relics worn by his human counterpart. With them, he is able to jump great distances and perform powerful charge movements that can tear down most obstacles. Well, that's great, and I'm almost freaking dead. Okay, let's try to stay out of the way here, use all the remaining healing that I have left. He seems to be a bit more lumbering here, though, so the, the attacks are telegraphed just a little bit more. Looks like everything is a little bit extreme, so he still does, like, the, the charge attacks and the shockwave attacks. I get a kick out of the fact that he knows who we are, like, he knows our last name is Belmont. Like, the legacy of the Belmonts is starting. And I'm almost freaking dead here. Maybe I should use the crystal, but I'm just- I'm gonna go- I'm gonna try, man. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe pop that crystal. See how much damage that's gonna do. Cause I believe if I do get the game over, which, eh, get one more hit until I'm dead, chances are I'm gonna get the game over. Um, I think we still get the full crystal, so... What I don't remember, though, is if the fight starts at the second form or not. But I suppose all these questions are about to be answered, unless I somehow pull this off, but man, he's just too freaking fast. How much is that gonna do, exactly? I'm not even close to half, but I mean... If I just go, like, no more than three hits at a time, like, maybe... I don't know, maybe I can... <laughs> somehow make it through here. Just boom, boom, and then we go. Always have to watch out for the wind-up, but then it means I have to, uh... That, but, uh... Could even tell. Okay, so the big question is, um, what is the last checkpoint exactly? If it throws me to, like, the beginning of the first form, then, yeah, it sucks. No, it's the- okay, it's this one. But unfortunately, yeah, we have the same health and magic, so I could start the battle over if I think I can do a bit better. Um, which is possible, or I could just practice this up until I think I get it down pat. Let's go ahead and use the shadow magic first, because I got in a lot of big damage that way. And I do still have the crystal, okay. So the, the big question becomes, like, do you want to start the battle over and, you know, take the chance that you'll have more HP uh, when you get to this form, or just keep trying it with the tools that you currently have and see if you can do it. Um, so I might just practice this up a little bit and see what we can do. Ah, jeez. See, I can take three hits from this freaking guy, it looks like. So I may just need to do that, like, get good at the first form and just have better resources when I first get here. Or, you know, he is already at 50 HP. If I can get him down enough to where... You know, the, the crystal would take him out. And the, the attacks are properly telegraphed, you know, like, it, it's very fast, you, you have a very slight way to react to them. But of course, taking down the HP becomes a much more tedious affair whenever I don't have any shadow magic to offer. The good news is, is that, like, I'm gonna have to get this down to where I don't take any hits, really, so I should get down to where I can get some orbs to come out of it. But boy, this takes some quick fingers. Yeah, I cannot quite go into a full neutral combo. And anything else other than the neutral combo, I don't think is we're, we're gonna have enough time to do, really. Whew. Yeah, the, the, the movements are very subtle as to, like, when he's gonna do the shockwave attack. And he does kind of, like, recoil back a little bit before he does the dash attack, too, so... Okay, so I think we are almost at... Okay, I think it's crystal time. Can I do this on the second try? I remember having so much trouble with him the last time I played this game. But if this doesn't kill him, I think it'll get close. I don't think it's gonna quite kill him, but I can take two more hits, I think, so... So the point in the middle, that must be... You know, the part where the... Where the original founder, like, ascended into heaven? Okay, so what am I doing here exactly, game? <laughs> Don't leave me hanging like this. Maybe I have to do something here? What am I doing here? Game, give me something here. Do I have to grab this thing in the middle? Like, what am I doing? Do I just wail on him a bit more? 
See, that's frustrating. Okay, what, 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 what am I doing here? Okay, so I know I just complained about that, but we do get a checkpoint right before this part of the fight, so I'll give the game that for sure. And what we have to do is destroy all these things, which is kind of obvious in hindsight, I guess, but okay. I think the hardest part of the fight is over now. I thought we'd have to go through that second form again, which is why I was kind of upset, but... I'm sure you would, but it looks like I'm about to take you out before you have the chance to do that. Although I'm gonna have to... Come on. Get into this a little bit more. I don't know if I could actually get help back from here, but let's focus, let's focus. Oh boy. Yeah, these are taking more and more hits. And the heroic music! Come on. Don't want to mess this up again. Alright, one more. I can't see him right now, though, so that's kind of annoying. Dodge out of the way! Come on. And there we go. Did I mess up the quick time event? I did mess up the quick time event. Oh, that's brood. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the quick time events. Oh, come on. Am I gonna get a, a checkpoint right before the quick time events? Nope. Oh, okay. Well, you don't get a pass on that one, game. That's super lame. Let's try this again. Not particularly hard when you know it's coming, but... Ah, the stake right in the middle. Perfect. His original weapon. Ooh, but now that's brutal too. At least when I actually win at the quick time event, he's on the end of a brutality. And wooden stake? Right through the head. Whew. Not as hard as I remember it at all. Again, why did that take me so many tries about a decade ago? Another piece of cursed armor for the collection. Make haste, my love. Reclaim the power before it is lost. And with that, we get the Cyclone Boots. A gift to Cornell, these powerful boots were forged long ago. They allowed him to travel vast distances at tremendous speed. However, after he became the Dark Lord of the Lycans, he improved upon their design, using shadow magic to turn them into a powerful weapon, enabling him to charge down his enemies with incredible speed. Cyclone Gloops will allow you to sprint. Double tap the left stick in any direction. And like I said, we got the super speed now. So we can make much higher and much longer jumps. Good stuff, good stuff. You have gained great power, but it is not enough. You must unite the two that remain. Come with me. Our time is running out. Thank you. 
And with that, the Lord of the Lycans is defeated, and I guess we've gotten through the first third of the game. One down, two to go.